Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a ride on mower, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 24cm by 15cm or 9.5 inches by 6 inches. The medium mower crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 15cm by 11cm or 6 inches by 4.25 inches. The small mower crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 12cm by 9cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 515 emerald, 208 yellow gold, 280 lemon, 110 black, 393 charcoal and 074 mercury. I've got thread and a needle to stitch the mower together and embroider on the markings. I've got a darning needle to weave in ends, scissors and a 2.5mm crochet hook. I'm going to start on this back wheel here. So I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put the hook on my yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end and then I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through the circle and there's my magic loop. And I work one chain. I'm going to work 18 single crochet into the circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, you put the hook in through the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So that's my first single crochet. I need 17 more single crochet into the circle. And that's my 18 single crochet. Now I pull the circle tight so I take hold of this tail and ease it in as tight as I can. And I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here next to the chain. I put my hook into that stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And that's the centre part done. I'll fasten off that and then I'll join in my black. It looks better if you fasten off and not just join your black into that same stitch. Now I'm going to join my black the stitch before I fastened off. So I put a loop on my hook and just pull it through that stitch and then I work one chain and I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch around my circle. I'm going to crochet over the end so I hold them against my work and crochet over the top of it. So one single crochet in each stitch around with the black.
And then when I get back to the beginning of the row, I work a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch there. And that's the second part done. So I'll fasten the black off. Next I join in my 393, the charcoal. I'll join it in the stitch before the join. Just join the same as I joined the black. And I work three chain. And I'm going to work two treble into each stitch around. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble you put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, then yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. So we need one more treble in that same stitch. And then we work two treble in each stitch around. Now I'll continue working around this row, working two treble into each stitch and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row, I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch, so that stitch there, and I fasten off. Now for this wheel I was joining the new colour in without fastening off, just joining it into the last stitch, but I think it looks better if you fasten off. Now I'm going to work the black around the edge, so I'll join my black in the stitch before the join, so this just in there. and I work one chain and I'll work one single crochet into each stitch around I'll work over the top of the ends again to save on weaving in ends
When I get back to the beginning of the row, I work a slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the large wheel done. The two front wheels are worked the same, so I'll only work one on camera because this is going to be a fairly long video. So I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I make a magic loop. I work one chain and I work 10 single crochet in the circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. For row two, I join my black in the stitch before the join. And work one chain. And I work one single crochet into each stitch around. And I'll be working over the top of the ends. And I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And I'll trim those two ends away while I've got the scissors. For row three, I join the charcoal in the stitch before the join and I work two chain. I'm going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn, yarn at the end through two loops. So we need two double crochet in each stitch around.
and when we get back to the beginning of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And then we join in the 110, the black, to the stitch before our join and work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet in each stitch around. And we join in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's a front wheel worked. Now for the body of the mower I've got my 515 the emerald and I start with 7 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I've got one stitch left, I work three single crochet into that last stitch. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn my work. I work 3 single crochet into the first stitch. Then I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 11 stitches. So after my three single crochet into the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I've got one stitch left. I work two half double crochet into the last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And we need one more half double crochet in the last stitch. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our half double crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're going to work eight chain. Row 5 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. And then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left. I work one half double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For row six we slip stitch into each of the first two stitches.
then we work one chain and we work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end we'll have 19 stitches For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each of the 19 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 20 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 20 stitches.
For bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. We'll have 20 stitches. We're going to start on the shaping for the top now. For bow 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches. I've got three stitches left. I work one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 12 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the second stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet in each stitch until we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. And we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One 
one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So a double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the body done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we don't turn our work, we work one single crochet into each stitch down this side till this little section here. So just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. And if you find it difficult to get your hook into a stitch it can be better to use the smaller hook. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the corner just before the slip stitches, so just in there and then I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch at the edge and work one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then just continue around my neatening row working a single crochet into each stitch. Occasionally I might need two single crochet into a stitch. If your work starts to bend back you need an extra single crochet. And I'm going to crochet over the top of the tail here. So I work my neatening row right back to the top there. So I'll continue it off camera and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When we get back to the beginning of the row, we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch there and fasten off. And that's the body done. We're going to work this steering wheel mount now. So we turn our work to the wrong side and we're going to join four stitches back from the corner stitch at the edge away from our join. So here's my corner stitch. I work four stitches back. So this stitch here. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the corner stitch down here. I'm not going to work in the same stitch as the join. So one single crochet into each stitch. Down to the corner stitch. Now 
Now I'm at my corner stitch, I work two single crochet into the corner stitch and then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then work four chain. For row two we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the three remaining chain. And then we're going to slip stitch in the last single crochet worked along there, along the bottom. So slip stitch into that stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we turn our work. For row three we work one single crochet into each of our three stitches up this little end bit for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. Slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and then slip stitch into the following stitch. And then we turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. Then work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches on the side part. And then work one single crochet into each stitch up the side. until we get to the corner stitch. So I'm even with along the top, so that's where I'll stop. For row 7 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch down the side. I can't really give you exact numbers because everyone works a different amount of single crochets in their neatening rows and I even work a different amount for, for the same pattern And for row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch up the side.
Now that's the steering wheel mount finished. We're not going to fasten off. We're going to work a little stand for the steering wheel just along the top here. So we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And for row two we start with one chain and turn our work and we're going to work a joined single crochet over those three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we fasten off. And that's the body and the steering wheel stand done. We'll work this little gear stick now while I've got my black. We join the black in the last stitch along the top there. and work five chain. We work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And then work two chain and we slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet. And then we work a joined slip stitch in the last two stitches. So put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and take your hook through the two loops and then we slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the gear stick done. When I weave in the ends and pull the chain tight it will face backwards like that. Now I'll work this little part of the steering wheel, the bottom part of the steering wheel next. So I've got my 110 the black and I work four chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. It's a bit fiddly. That's the bottom part. And then I work four chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And I slip stitch in the first stitch along the bottom. and then slip stitch into the middle stitch and work three chain. That's for the that middle section there. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain. Slip stitch into the same stitch on the bottom 
and then slip stitch into the last stitch along the bottom. and work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. And slip stitch into the last stitch along the bottom. And fasten off. And that's the bottom part of the steering wheel. Now for this top part of the steering wheel, I've still got my black and I work nine chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain and I fasten off and that's the top of the steering wheel. I'll weave in the ends for the body and I'll be back and we'll work this bumper bar. For this bumper bar here I join my black cotton on the right side just in this corner stitch here. And I work enough chain to fit from the corner there to the first stitch on the steering wheel mount. I've worked six chain and I slip stitch in the side of the steering wheel mount. So just like that. And then I work one chain and turn. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each chain. and then work a single crochet in the join where you joined for your chain. Now we're going to work along the bottom here. You'll probably need at least eight single crochet along there to just before we get to the corner. I'll work one more. I've worked nine and I'm just near the corner 
and then I work one chain and turn. I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. and we fasten off. And I'll snip that. Now that's the bumper bar done. Now from the bumper bar there is a little bit of chain that goes into the front wheel. So I join my black in the second stitch along the bumper bar. And work four chain. And then I fasten off leaving a bit of a tail to stitch it in the centre of the wheel. And that's the body and all the pieces done. We'll work the light next, so I'll be back with my two greys. Now, for the light, I've got my charcoal, the 393, and most of it has worked with that, but there is one row of the mercury. So with my charcoal, I work five chain. For row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. Now I'm going to join in the mercury, but I leave the charcoal fastened because I'm going to use that for the neatening row. So I join in the mercury, the 074, and work one chain with it. and I turn. I'm going to leave the tails on this side and I work one single crochet into each stitch across. And then I fasten off the mercury Now I'm going to join, bring up the charcoal, so I just bring a loop through and work one chain and I'm going to work 
single crochets around my work. Into the corners I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then one single crochet into each stitch along the top and then into this corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then just work a single crochet into each stitch around to the beginning of the row And once we get back to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the light done. Now for this little grey part, I've no idea what it's called. Um, I'm not good with mechanics. I've got my zero 7-4, the Mercury, and I make a magic loop. And I work four chain. Into my circle, I'm going to work four treble. A treble is a double treble, using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. So four treble. We pull the circle tight. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. And for row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. Now, I'm going to leave it like that, but if you'd prefer, you could work a neatening row around the edge, but I think mine will be big enough. Um, it just slips in behind, so it won't show if it's neatened or not. So I'm going to fasten mine off, but if yours needs to be a bit, bit bigger to fit in that space, you could work a neatening row. Now for this top body marking I've got my 208, the yellow gold and I start with 9 chain
I miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. and fasten off. And that's the top one done. For this bottom body marking, I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I start with 12 chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. and fasten off. Now for the blades I've got my 280 the lemon and I start with 4 chain For row 1 I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet in the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms, and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and turn, I work two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. I have five stitches. For row four, I start with two chain and turn. I work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. For 
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. And then one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 4 stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work 2 double crochet into the first stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. So 2 double crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch. And for row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch or work 2 half double crochet into the last stitch. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. And that's the first part done. We're going to join the 208, the yellow gold, to that last stitch work. So just in here and we're going to work down the side and just around the corner. So we start with one chain and I'm going to work over the top of the tails and work one single crochet into each stitch down to the corner.
and work two single crochet into the corner stitch slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off Now I'm going to join in the 280, the lemon, to the back loop of the first stitch. And I work one chain. Now I'm going to only work into the back loop, so just this loop here in each stitch. I work one single crochet into each stitch down to the corner and including the corner stitch. So one single crochet in the back loop only into each stitch down and including the corner stitch. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. and fasten off now I'm going to join in the 208, the yellow gold to the first stitch just where we fastened off and I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the corner And then just continue around the corner just until you get 
to the yellow gold there, just in there, and fasten off. And that's the blade cover done. Now for these pipes on the top of the blades, I've got my 110, the black, and for this first pipe, I work 7 chain. I miss 2 chain and work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. Then I work 10 chain. And join it to the other side of my work. So the bottom of the half double crochet is in there. Now that's for that little part there. And then I turn my work and work one slip stitch into each stitch around the chain. And I work a slip stitch in each stitch down the bottom. Then slip stitch into the middle of the half double crochets at the end and work three chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And then slip stitch into the end there and fasten off. And that's that first pipe. For this second pipe that tucks in behind the wheel, I've got my 110, the black, and I work 7 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. For bow 2, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches.
then I work to chain and I work three half double crochet along the top of the two rows so just along here just evenly across and I fasten off Now for this little blade wheel I've got my black and I make a magic loop I work one chain and work seven single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and that's the little wheel now I'll work this seat mount now so I've got my 515 the emerald and I start with 9 chain For row 1 I work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet into each remaining chain I'll have nine stitches For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I work three half double crochet into the last stitch for row three I start with three chain and turn I work three double crochet into the first stitch that's a treble using UK terms so three double crochet into the first stitch two half double crochet into the next stitch then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left
and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow four we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We work one half double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row five we start with three chain and turn we work one double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our first two stitches work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row six we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end will have 11 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow weight we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. I've got two stitches left, I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work three half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the seat mount done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work one or two single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue around for my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the seat mount done. I'll work these two side pieces for the seat frame now. I've got my 110, the black, and I work 8 chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into each of the next two stitches one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and one double crochet into each remaining stitch. And fasten off. And the second one is work the same. I start with 8 chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. one single crochet into each of the next two stitches one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and one double crochet into each remaining stitch and fasten off. Now for this seat stand in between the two side pieces I work five chain I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain
For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet in the next stitch, and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. And for row 4 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. And that's the seat stand done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row, I start with one chain and I work one single crochet into each stitch down to the corner. Into the corner, I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and I work around the rest like that. One single crochet in each stitch along the flat sides and into each corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and I'll join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So I'll finish this part and I'll be back. And that's the side stand done. While I've got my black, I'll work this step. So I start with a chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. Then one half double crochet into each of the following three chain. and one single crochet into each remaining chain. And fasten off. And that's the step done. Now for the seat, I've got my 280 the lemon and I make a magic loop and work one chain. I work one single crochet into my circle and pull the circle tight. For row 2, I start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch.
For bow 5 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet and 1 half double crochet in the first stitch. And 1 double crochet in the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And that's along the bottom of the lemon part. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and I'm going to start working along this top bit but not all the way along. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. For row 7 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And 1 half double crochet into the last stitch. And for Row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch, 1 double crochet into the following stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. And that's that top part done. Now we're going to work a neatening row. I'll start with one chain and I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch down the side and to the corner. Into the corner I'm going to work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch just to give it a little bit more of a point. And I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch along the bottom. And I'm going to work single crochets up the side and along the top. So around the corner I might work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch up to the next corner. Into the corner I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and a single crochet in each stitch along the top. And join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off.
and that's the first part of the seat done. Now for this bottom part of the seat I've got my 208 the yellow gold and I join in that point at the bottom there and work two chain and I'm going to work one half double crochet in the back loop only so this loop here of each stitch around to the corner so just along the bottom one half double crochet into each stitch I'm holding the tails against my work and working over the top of them Now for the corner stitches work two half double crochet into each stitch. And then work a half double crochet into each stitch until you have four stitches at the top. So I've got two more to work. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and one slip stitch into each of the following two stitches and fasten off and that's the seat done that's all the pieces worked so I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and work the other front wheel and I'll be back and we'll put it together there's all the pieces. I've got the body, the body markings, the two pipes, the blade wheel, the seat mount, the steering wheel and the steering wheel top, the seat, the grey part, the light, the back wheel, the blades, the two front wheels, the side seat stand, the seat stand and the step. The first things I'll do is embroider markings across the middle of the grey part and then probably four bits just down just to make it look a bit like a skirt. I'll embroider these little markings on the light. I'll attach the top of the steering wheel to the steering wheel just in like that and I'll attach these two side stands to the seat mount one goes in there and the other goes at the edge and slightly over the edge at the end and even at the bottom so about there the next things I'll do is attach the steering wheel to the steering wheel mount it slopes back like that and I'll attach the light to the body it goes up along the front from where it bends in a bit. So in there I'll attach this seat stand to the side seat pieces. It goes about there and I'll embroider these white dots to one front wheel 
the back wheel and this little blade wheel. Next I'll attach the seat to the top of the seat stand. The side goes over the side of the seat mount and the top goes over the top. The middle is about level to the edge and I'll attach this step just along the bottom there. I'll attach the body markings to the body just in about there and this grey piece I'll attach in behind that gap there just in there. I'll attach the first pipe. It sticks slightly over the edge and up around there and the second pipe goes slightly over the end there and sticks out quite a bit just in there and I'll attach this little wheel about halfway across the bottom and halfway up the other half goes down over the edge. Next I'm going to stitch the front wheel without the embroidery over the centre in about there and then I'll stitch the chain down and push it through the centre circle and I'm going to stitch the seat mount under the steering wheel mount just a triangle just in there about there. Next I will stitch the front wheel in. It overlaps the other front wheel just in there and the top goes onto the bumper bar. It's quite a bit lower than the first front wheel and I'll attach the back wheel. I'll put the two right sides together and stitch just around there probably about quarter of the wheel from just in there to just around the corner. The last thing you do is attach the blades in behind the other parts. So just in there. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back to show you the finished mower. And there's the finished ride on mower. The size is 19 centimetres by 14 centimetres or 7.5 inches by 5.5 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.